Okay guys, so welcome back to the channel. I have got a Subaru for a nice video feature today. It's a quite a built car, so I've got the owner here. He's basically just going to explain to us exactly what's in the car. And then we're going to go take it for a nice test drive and do a bit of a video shoot. Okay, so what's been done to it? Let's okay. walk from here. So, start off from over here. Yep. So we got Pro Drive calipers with the rotor disc and uh, EBC yellow pads. So she stops quite nice, handles quite nice. Then with the A-line wheels, Michelin tires. Then under the hood, Hyperflow intercooler, uh, Hyperflow 1000cc injectors, Hyperflow induction, 100 uh, mm forged uh, manly pistons and rods. Got a Tommy ARMS turbo, uh, running full MET, GFB boost controller, uh, got a Tommy wastegate, then just the normal supporting mods with the aluminium radiator, the catch tank, oil cooler. And how long have you had the car for? Uh, for about a year now. Being built from 2016, it was my dad's friend's car in Eastern Cape. He was building it from 2016 and then we helped him finish it last year. And this is not a STR, it's just a normal It's a normal WRX, WRX wagon, uh, gearbox and diff has been modified in Cape Town, okay. uh, 5 speed, so she's okay. quite strong. Um, she has 5 different boost settings, so it's 0 0.6, 0 0.8, uh, 1 bar, uh, 1.3 and 1.7, so 1.7 it hits 450 wheel horsepower. Yo. Uh, then That's suspension wise, yeah. Uh, suspension wise, we got PC coilovers, white line sway bars all around, aluminium control arms, aluminium end links. Yo, so quite a lot has been done to it. Yeah. Yo, I love that tailpipe. What, that's like a 150 mil or something? Uh, I think it's a 130 mil second HKS silent power. Jeez, like it. HKS, eh? I know I had a, also a wagon, I had the just normal 2 litre. Yeah. And that thing was awesome. I tell you, traction wise, you throw it around, there's like no, it doesn't move. It just, wherever you turn it, it goes. That was a WRX. Right? Yeah, also WRX, just the, the earlier shape than this one, yeah. Yeah. Um, I wanted the 2.5, but when I wanted them, the STRs were still too expensive. They were all 300,000 and stuff. Yeah, I think that on the exterior, it's just the front lip, the toe, uh, toe hook. Uh, that's about it and the rear fin of course. Yeah, see even a OMP, eh? Yeah. How's that? <laughs> yeah, we know what that stuff costs. Because the, the exhaust length, because two of the ports are closer than the other two, that's why yes, they make that yes, sound. Yes. Yeah. That's also why Beetle also used to make that noise, because the original exhaust is like pop, 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 pop. Yeah. yeah. You might live in a top area and catch this view and all that, Check these cool views. Sensing the gears. So, what happened was, I did break the gearbox and diff on this car. So, I had to buy a oh, new one and okay. rework it. So, now my diff. It's starting to wind again. You can hear the bearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's gonna go back to Cape Town and get it refurbished. Oh, okay. Assuming you don't expect it when you just see a, a black wagon, <laughs> you know, you don't expect it's got all the stuff in it. Especially the wagon with being a nice sleeper, and you saw how quiet it is at start. Yeah, up. yeah, yeah. No, you can't even hear that when something's done. Good. Right 
on the beach, right? Yeah. Nice walking distance. Yeah. Oh.